Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to discuss about the different types of the roots that are mostly found. So let's see what are the types. There are mostly two types, the taproot system and the fibrous root system. So first, let us discuss about the tap root system. So the tap root system, these tap roots, they appear mostly from the radical. So it is appearing from the radical and the first formed root from the tap roots is the known as the primary root. So as you can see over here, this is a typical structure of a tap root. Now this cylindrical structure, this is known as the primary root, right? So this is arised directly from the radical from a germinating seed. So this is known as the primary root. Now from the primary root, the branches of the roots arise. So these branched or the first order roots that are formed from the primary roots, these are known as the secondary roots. So which are the secondary roots over here? This will be the secondary root, right? These are the secondary roots. So the uh, roots which are arising first order from the primary root directly, these are known as the secondary roots. Now from the secondary roots, the second order roots which are arising are known as the tertiary root. So from here we can see small uh, very thin structures or very thin root like structures from the secondary roots have arised. So these are the tertiary roots, right? So these are the second uh, order branches which are forming. These are known as the tertiary roots. So three types, primary root which is the main axis. From the primary root, the branch structures, those are the secondary roots. Now branch structures from the secondary roots, those are the tertiary roots. Now again, there are very fine hair like structures on the roots. So those are known as the rootlets. These taproot system, these are mostly found in dicots or dicotyledonous plants. So what are dicots? We know the plants which mix seeds, which can be broken down into two equal halves. So there are two cotyledons from a particular seed. So those are the dicotyledonous seeds. Now, after the taproot system, let us study about the next root system, which is the fibrous root system. So let's see how the fibrous root system is different from the taproot system. So these occur in monocotyledonous plants. So plants which produce seeds, which cannot be properly differentiated or divided into two equal halves. So they have one cotyledon and not two. So the difference from the taproot system, those are forming in the dicotyledonous plants. Here, the fibrous roots, they are mostly formed in the monocotyledonous or monocots plant. The primary root here is short-lived. Rather, in the previous case, taproot system, the primary root is the main axis and it is very important. So here, the primary root dies off and it is very short-lived and this primary roots, they are replaced by a large number of roots. Okay, so here the primary root does not remain alive. So instead of the primary roots, a large number of smaller roots arise. They originate from the base of the stem, not the proper radical. So they are forming from the base of the stem and, and a large number of roots are formed. A very important characteristic is that the roots which are formed from parts which are other than the part, uh, plant except the radical, these are known as the adventitious roots. So in the previous case, we have seen from the radical itself, the primary root is formed. But here, the roots which are formed other than from the parts other than the radical, these are known as the adventitious roots. And there are very fine hair like structures as you can see over here. So there are very uh, a large number of roots as compared to the previous structure. You can see there is a primary axis from there the branches are formed. But in the adventitious roots, you can see a large number of roots have been formed from the base of the stem. Now, the function of these roots are they absorb water, minerals, and they also provide anchorage. They can store food in the form of uh, stored materials, and they can also synthesize the growth regulators, which are essential for the growth of these root structures. So, in this video, we have talked about the two different types of roots the taproot system, which is the root system which is mostly arising from the radical, and the second type is the adventitious root system in which the radical or the primary root does not uh, remain alive for a long time, but in the place of primary roots, a large number of smaller roots arise. So I hope you have understood and like this video. Thank you.